My name is Jim Riley, and I was uh, co-creator, mm -hmm. writer, and director on that track. Yep. And look, he was correct that they were going to come back to him in a few years and ask, ask him about it. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was just such an interesting case study, you know? Like, that they got so upset by this game that they didn't know anything about, but it was so really cheesy and kind of fun. Well, it was frustrating this back in the day. mid yeah. 80s. Nintendo is doing very well with their video games, mm -hmm. right? Mario Brothers type stuff. Yeah, oh yeah. They uh, were leading Sega the way. is doing pretty well. I was working Look with Nolan Bushnell uh, on um, a series of interactive advertising and interactive old, old retailing Apple. campaigns. And uh, I got a call from a guy who uh, was actually my neighbor. Rob Fuller, who um, w had developed oh, yeah, the and a little bit. Of Atari yeah. games, and he knew of a guy named Tom Zito working at another Nolan Bushnell company See, that it's, it's um, we had, like, the had actually like that, you know? mm -hmm. uh, been presented. There was a guy, uh, an engineer, who came in with this wafer that allowed you to attach it to a VCR and oh, be able to part. interact with. Uh, the video cartridge as your video source, but you could interact up to four choices at any one time. And uh, like the, they the, were trying to figure out yeah. what to do with it. Adventure, so Rob remote. knew that I had a background in, in live action interactive and introduced me to Tom. Tom wanted to put together some demos to take to Hasbro. And they said, so this is a Hasbro. relatively inexpensive addition to a VCR and mm -hmm. if we provide this enhancement, we can actually um, get into the video game business and allow us to compete. That's significant revenue. And now we're in the living room. We right. all Which came is, up with ideas. It was a smart and move. My focus was thing. more about these environments where you could go anywhere at any time or feel as if you could move more freely. One of the easiest ways to think of that is surveillance cameras. The first demo we did was Scene of the Crime to kind of test so out, play test the idea of being able to move around through surveillance cameras and see how interesting that was. Which, that's a pretty cool concept. A lot of those games from that point and newer time around now actually So in mm -hmm. Scene of the Crime, the basic idea is that this wealthy man has a safe full of money. We're supposed to be able to actually unlock this. And he this. has this new surveillance system if we where get you, to a certain the point. participant, That'd be is cool. the security guy. That'd and be cool to show off he this old-ass game. He tells you to please game. watch the safe. I'm pretty sure um, it was one of the things if anybody tries to break in, he wants to know about it. That's cool. Watch them with the cameras. If anyone tries anything, I want to know about it. Then you can move around the house. He looks so excited for this whole thing. Try to follow <laughs> what's going on. Of course, everybody has a plot to steal the money. So you're trying to figure out who's involved, how it happens, and then after a three to five minute quick period, sure enough, somebody stole the money, the lights were out, it was hard to tell exactly who it was. You couldn't just sit in the room to figure it out. And then he says, okay, who did it? And then you guess. So really simple concept, but four of us it, flew right? back to Hasbro. That's pretty cool. Pitched it to Steven Hasenfeld, and a boardroom kind of like 22 a executives. video version of Clue. That day we yeah. got Except for funding. somebody stealing something instead of killing the guy. To yeah. start what became Digital Pictures. Then they said, okay, we want to do a title that uses this. Um, and at that point, I, I was working on a number of other things, but I felt like surveillance cameras is great, but to have more effect on what happens rather than just an observer Funny enough, we went back to the observer thing with Five Freddy's. You just observed. 
to oh, yeah, that, to feel they're based off the same engaged, mechanics from and be before. able to subtly change the story again not branching uh, or changing the ending but in fact be able to do something and watch how the story changes and have to play it multiple times to really understand the subtleties <laughs> of that yes and that was shit ton of multiple tracks, times which could be done even within this very limited environment. See, he has a cool note that has specific though, rules. Was, I do not. You know, everybody started to realize, wow, this is tricky stuff. Yes. Part of it is that there was never a real formula. Hasbro decided that it didn't want to move forward. They began, I think, to understand that this is a significant investment. This is yeah. like starting a studio. We all went away in 1989, and then in 1992, Tom negotiated a deal with Sega who had come up Sega. with the Sega CD, which was just powerful enough <laughs> to stream. Back then, it's Donkey Kong, it's um, Mario Brothers, uh, you know, really simple pixelated graphics. Mm -hmm. And so all of a sudden, there was this option which to was impressive. It looks silly now. But back then, the it was very impressive world. It was to have all a movie that you can interact with. Mm -hmm. So that, Sega that, did quite was a few the of them. Initial excitement, and so when the Sega CD I actually have came another out, one. You know, everybody was just hats and horns, and this is fantastic. On. And look, it's we can interact with this. And we had a, a number of really interesting people yeah. that were experimenting. Is really the best way to I say it. I never played it with this sort of new platform. Not quite sure what it was, and. Everything from writers who were, you know, I, I, having constructive arguments about interactive narrative, which is very tricky, right? A lot of people yeah, will say, Yeah, you always think of it that way, so. We don't want mm -hmm. people to look the wrong way or be doing, we want to control their experience. And, it's actually and, a lot like D&D. &D. Um, yeah. Give this Whereas to you're making a story, novice or non-filmmakers. It's all about it, what it the other people are choosing. Everything that they've been trained to do. The other side of that is the game, is a video game. And a video game, a really good video game, is you have full control. You're actually, uh, the world is very believable, the full of fascinating characters, and you're motivated to do a number of things to achieve whatever the goal yeah. is. Uh, but it's a high level of interactivity, mm -hmm. right? And Which is not your, easy to do, put sorry um, to that. That's more important to... than mm -hmm. the believability of your environment, right? So those are the two extremes. Even back then, those were the two extremes. But there was this funny gray area, and nobody quite knew what to make of mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. You know, we called it FMV or Live Action Interactive or whatever those things were. We'd bring in a writer, a director, a game designer, Look at this, guys. This is a software like programmer. <laughs> there were all these different people sitting around a table speaking completely different languages, having very different sensibilities, trying to find some common ground. Right. The first concept was to take the sort of wealthy guy and, you know, with a safe full of money to the extreme. So it was a billionaire who had you know, mm -hmm. Fort Knox of course, of course. in his right. house, modern house in Lake Tahoe. He was able to do this with comfort and leave knowing that he had this next generation security system, which included the latest surveillance cameras mm -hmm. and Top also this, um, these traps and gadgets. Because what's who's allow, not an eccentric billionaire <laughs> now, right? Um, it's would allow the 24 7 the security team that's to be totally able to trap legal. any potential intruders it, and I mean it's good so stuff happens in your house, one guys. weekend I'm just his daughter gets into a gray shows area. up for a slumber party with all of her teenage friends and the house Two casualties is already attacked, damn it. attacked by ninja by burglars. ninjas and the reason don't know ninjas. I thought don't ninjas, ninjas would be the cool approach would be that they move in the shadows you start off with this really simple clean concept that you know could Whoa. be refined and and um, no really have good. an edge to <laughs> it and a look and stuff and you end up with this thing that um, kind of clunky is a, is a combination of bad notes over time and somehow it went from ninjas focused on getting the money you know and the girls being able to you know there were sort of um, not the key 
but they were very much caught uh, in the mix. That must be what set up the mom, because she looked up at a camera. Vampires. Mm -hmm. There was this thing called reproducible violence. It's the first time I had heard that term. Yeah. Um, but it turns Especially out to back be a, then. a very real thing. <laughs> and Hasbro, in particular, was very concerned about that. Mm -hmm. So we went into kind of the supernatural realm with the vampire. And they said, no, 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 we don't want to see you know, vampires biting the girls. So these were toothless um, vampires, and they could not move too quickly. So they actually had to be kind of sick. I like sick. to argue that point. So they had that to guy be teleported out near the end. <laughs> sick vampires. Well, they were talking about the Ogs at this point. <laughs> right. I mean, it just kept getting worse. And the Og term came because they really needed blood, and the only way they could get it was to auger in with a device like the trocar. That cleared as a non-reproducible <laughs> violence. I thought that in our effort to homogenize this thing and make it um, just wild, you more know, friendly and Th less scary. They went this scary. far steps it, it to actually make it was work. Pretty creepy. They still hated in terms it. Of these, you know, strange people still picked on it. Walking around with the trocar. In this case, the script writing was so bizarre because you had to do two things. You, you had to create a world, then you had to navigate within that world. Mm -hmm. You had technical limits of what <laughs> yep. you could actually do, but you were cheating that to make it look like you could do anything. So that was a whole thing. And then for the moments, you could write a scene, that takes but very the scene specific had timing. to motivate somebody to go somewhere else. But the script was not 120 pages. The script was <laughs> like this, right, with a timeline. There. And people were going, how do I read this? I mean, you know, it's kind of like, you know, I'm okay, I'm here. and what, Because everything was, by the way, time, right? Because you only had that much time for the scene. So blocking was very different, um, you know, rather than sitting down with the actors and saying, you know, this is what what's, we need what's here. the uh, intent here and you know should you walk over here and you know where should you it was like okay we got <laughs> we got <laughs> you have 24 seconds so how do we <laughs> 24 it? seconds go so you're gonna end up going out that door make this from here it's to there look natural right natural and you gotta, don't you gotta be out that door in 18 seconds because in 18 seconds you're going to appear in the hallway Mm -hmm. I walked around with a timeline. Mm -hmm. I, I think it became sort of a joke, which is, you know, where are we now? And I'd have to take the timeline out. Yeah, and it, it would have that, eight guys. tracks, that's, that's right? It's for amazing at any one time with still and complicated. And, um, and I would be able to I, figure I out. I really appreciate so this game it, for it the was technical tricky. difficulty. Uh, the it presented. Shot days and nights. Um, and it set the know, stage for so many more and after it. I was surprised Especially this kind of time-based thing where you go from one that specific mm -hmm. time. It wasn't, it wasn't difficult for them to go, oh, I get it, okay, so, you know, I'm going to be here, but I could be over there, and then depending on what happens with the AUG here, I might, and they got into it. And, and in some cases, they adjusted their performance accordingly, mm -hmm. which was a, a wonderful surprise. We didn't have a lot of money to cast name talent and... That sort of thing. Dana Plato was um, someone who we were lucky to to get. Well, there's something about Kelly. Mmm, woman's intuition again, huh? huh. Oh, Victor, you monster. <laughs> Come on, let's go. We don't want to upset the augers. <laughs> so fucking cheesy. Guys, with you know, trash bags taped to them. Yeah, but that was they, the threatening when part, the guys. It was too went, dangerous. They had to be in a position where they were balanced. Right, because when they drop through the floor, they've got to be able to do it. How do you move? You do this. So that became the og walk. We had to figure out um, in the shooting. Like it got really hectic at that point, guys. Be most economical. So we this generally <gasps> shot out each environment. The bedroom was the first one of the first sets we shot, and the lobby uh, or the foyer was one of the last. But most of the well, that was a lot of traffic through that. There were so <laughs> many other issues that. I was like Megan's face right there, like, the fuck least of yeah, what the hell? Concerned. This guy is really wigged out. <laughs> Trying to create an environment where the cast, and to some degree the DP and the lighting guys, really could participate as if they were making a, a movie. There were other technical restrictions. that They were very um, nervous about things that were too dark. 
I mean, the way it was originally envisioned was that it was um, really cool and edgy. And it turned out to be so cool super bright edgy. because they were concerned that if it got too dark, that it would pixelate too much mm -hmm. because the technology was yeah. so new and we were right at the edge. What was interesting is we shot Night Trap on 35 millimeter. In fact, Don Burgess was the DP and you know went on to do Forrest Gump. And not that Night Trap <laughs> lost his <laughs> career. I mean, Don Burgess, this brilliant DP, is having to essentially light the room like everything's got neon <laughs> lights. And we were all um, unhappy about that. Okay. But at the same time, it's the first time it's being done. Right, right. when and you're cutting edge technology, involved, it's mm -hmm. And everybody was making their best guess. The shoot was tricky. Um, we shot fun days and nights. Like this nowadays. Um, you know, it's hilarious sets and fun. locations. Like, just to make it as cheesy the as possible. post pocket was pocket. very tricky. Uh, I ended up using, I think it was Ediflex at, at one pass. It was the only way to cut this because what you end up with, it's a puzzle, right? <laughs> yeah. So think of it as you know, a 3D chess game where you're trying to figure out, okay, I got a little piece right there, and I yes, got a piece kids, that, thing on the back that ties of into back that, in spite of all of man. this. <laughs> it was a title that became very popular with a lot of people, I think primarily because it was one of the first to have real characters, you know, mm -hmm. in a real photo real world. But well, that's Sarah, part of the reason it got so much flack because it was real we after the shoot. Right. We have a car. Your parents Maybe are too gone. Too realistic and mm -hmm. scary. So? Come on, Sarah. What's the first thing you think of? Party. Kind of like how it's a horror a movie. Three -year the period with Hasbro, movie. where we like, looked at the marketplace, we did a ton of play testing, and I don't think it was ever clearly resolved what this thing was. <laughs> <laughs> and in fact, when it was ported over yeah. to Sega CD, I felt more concerned. Y yes, it was being released, but it was being released on a game platform. And, and sure enough, you know, everybody was going, well, this isn't really a game. I mean, this is an interesting thing, and it's fun. And, and for a lot of pe people, they didn't need a heavy interaction. So the live action, real characters was more interesting, at least for a period of time. You see, this does a nice mix of, like, it's interaction, but you're still doing stuff. Quantum... Quantum break. break. Yeah. Night Trap goes out. No, and I don't need a horror movie market. at the end of the no chapter. Quite, no, that was not a good mix. I don't think the sales were that great. I still want to see control. And then all of a sudden, there's a uh, Senate it's hearing the next gen of that. on <laughs> violence in video games. And Night Trap is one of the premier, and I'm just thinking, you're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because by that time, we had homogenized mm -hmm. it down to the simplest things. The only thing that was right, they had tried so hard to make most, it friendly. Um, violent was the troll car in the bathroom scene. <sighs> Megan, this isn't gonna work. You're not scaring me. Wait, what are you Why would you now? think that Megan, one of if the girls, is dressed up in fucking trash bags? Like, <laughs> what I kind of wonder why. If somebody had just edited out the most violent things from different games, including Night Trap, right. and put it together and showed it to these guys who, of course, most likely never played video games, so they yeah. didn't really understand the market. But what they thought is, my eight-year-old kid is being trained to kill people. If you talk to the That's kid, he goes, what are you talking about? This is like, a, you know, not a big deal. So I think what happened is there were selects that were made, including the trocar scene in the bathroom of Night Trap. They said, not only is this violence, not only are you promoting violence to our kids and somehow subconsciously turning them into, you know, violent criminals. <laughs> they make the same <laughs> argument it's every generation. Yep. It's actually more scary. Up till that time, it was pixelated graphics. And when it became real, I think everybody thought, oh my god, now, now this is really bad. I don't think there was a lot of understanding of what was going on in the business. I don't think that Night Trap, in comparison to some of the other games yeah. that were out at that time, Fighters, man, um, were worse than was this that one. violent. Mm -hmm. um, it it specific it horror moments. titles are coming out, right? Think it's like anything. There. Once you take worse. those things and you put them together, you can make anything look like the worst horror film you've ever seen. But thank God, because two things happened. One is sales of nitrogen. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Um, yeah, bad then. That's what happens. And came up with the rating system. Thank you. The irony <laughs> is that Night Trap is still on the list of most violent games. <laughs> I, you know, and, and you look at what's out there. I mean, there's no comparison. There you know, isn't. The shower scene, it's not even a shower scene, but the bathroom scene uh, with the trocar. Like, there are it, worse it, scenes it and other gruesome when you do the close ups and you see the drill going into the neck. And I get, I get that. Uh, at least back then it was, you know, considered to be pretty gruesome. But, it, you, you know, for some people, <laughs> you, you have to look at the Augs as kind of sad. Right? <laughs> They tried to make them as <laughs> least scary as possible, really, in right? the game. What's least happening scary, now is least, least it's worth bringing back Night Trap and some other things, just because it, you know, there are a lot of people that would love to see it in in better resolution. And I don't know where the film is. I mean, fortunately, I made a copy of the original timed masters, and those um, were again timed for this unknown world. So everything's bright and but even then um, you're going to see a to lot more contrast and a redone. lot more detail than you did through the Sega right. CD. I'm hoping that the fans of the game yeah. will actually have a, um, a I'm really am glad they were able to do the 25th side by the, the side by side game. comparison. I'm also yeah, very interested in how much people that have never been in this world before. And don't Hell, think that of it picture looks scarier than what the odds <laughs> are in the game. And don't yeah. think of it because they look like uh, freaking ninjas, well, it, uh, right? With actual with spikes sort of in the thing. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. You say interactive, and it's like, yeah, yeah. So what? You know, what specifically do you mean? Your computer's interactive, right? So, <laughs> right? Like, there's so back much then, that. it was a brand new. People field didn't understand when you said interactive. They really yep. didn't know what that meant. Not everyone uh, interacted with the electronics at all. Different ideas about what that meant. Um, so in some ways, that part of it, uh, I think it's going to be fun. Yeah. Interview yep. courtesy of my life in gaming. Yep. That's cool. So there you go. That's, yeah. This, Got it in its entirety this time. Uh, mm -hmm. we, last time we did it, we had a good in chunks, and it didn't turn out as good. Yeah, so. it was difficult. We had a few problems. Yep. tricky to edit that. But it was fun. I do like it. This is... I really wish they'd make something similar. I don't know if there's a lot of our end or a lot of our end. It's just the music on our end. Um, I can kick it back slightly, but we're getting ready to end it on this cut anyway. Um, we'll be in the next cut is actually going to play the game. Uh, I think we took completion this time. From I'm definitely going to try to get it completed one way or another. Um, probably not going to be perfect. We're going to hold off to that uh, even if possible and yeah. sell the stream. So. See what you do. Alright. See you in the next cut, guys. See you in a moment. Alright, guys, I'm practicing. I'm really close. We're gonna see if I make it this time. If not, you might not see the version. <laughs> nah, we'll show it anyway. It'll be an episode. It'll be one on its own. Excuse then do a stream trying to get the no failure. <laughs> Happy at stream. Mm -hmm. Alright, this is immediately going to here. And stay in here because I'm going to give the password. I'm only missing two, which is a good sign, really, overall. Right, what are you going to change it to, buddy? Let's what's funny thing is, is they go in that same in thing. Augs. So, gotcha. wouldn't what? the augs be I'd in feel there? better <laughs> if we switch the code again to orange. We don't want anyone else to get control. Mm. Orange. Mark the entire weekend, and I wind up in the middle of Kelly. Nowhere. I can't help you, okay? It's embarrassing. Kelly, Cindy. I'm not gonna listen to you. And Sarah said it was gonna be an exciting Actually, weekend. You know, we'll give it a chance. Tomorrow we'll go water skiing, her? and the lake will be crawling. You really could watch them. <laughs> I walked her all the way through. Okay. I can never remember which ones. Turn off. Cindy. They go for food. In here, he zaps them. See, look at this. I'm memorizing as it is, guys. It's great. Oh. And there's two more, and he's gonna not gonna notice. Wow. I mean, yeah, magic lights they can break, but. Darius, Eddie made these laser guns to fight off the Ogs. Ogs? 
We gotta tell everybody else. What the hell do you think that means? <laughs> what the hell? Wait, don't shoot. It's oh, it's me. just Eddie. Fuck, wait, don't hit him. Hanging around that weird Eddie. Yeah, don't. Definitely. Ew, what is? Ow! Eddie, oh. you're making a mess. That uh, tastes like blood. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you have to save the one good kid soon. Okay. Here. He's half the one. Isn't there one more somewhere? I think I missed one in the roof already. I'm not seeing a monster. This the scat member gets caught, but I can't do anything about him. There's someone here. Got him. I don't know if I can get through. Go back to the kid. No, he's just getting chased out by those guys. Don't you have to trap one of them though? I'm missing two. That's what I'm down so far. Okay. It's... They run up... Relax! Just relax! Just relax! Come on! He's got weird things chasing him. Um, oh, fuck, I missed one. Roof. Mr. Roof. What you want, Kelly? Scat. We have the whole house surrounded. We've taken control of all the traps and surveillance cameras in the house. But there's one right Mr. there. Roof. Can they help us? Here. Oh. Here. <laughs> you barely got it. <laughs> Back in time. And there's for destroying the door. Oh. You gotta protect her and Bea. But there's one here. Mm -hmm. Back. Got him. 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 Got you got one of the girls in there, okay. Okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no shit! Why? Oh, there's one in there. Oh, there's two 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 here. There's one in the back room. Yeah, yep, you missed, missed him. him. Yeah. I know, Kelly! Stop yelling at me for traps! Okay. Uh, no, we're not. He turned in the gun room. No, this one. This one. This, yeah. That's the one you keep missing? <laughs> one of the ones I keep missing. Well, she got away because of that. Okay. We just have to trust that they are making <laughs> We just have to trust that we are, because we're here! We're... I can't stand this! Megan! No. Megan! 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 Alright, don't for the first time, the second time, yes. Megan, run! Megan, run! Get out of there, Megan! Megan is bad! No, not yet, Kelly! Shut up! You're gonna freak me out, girl! Go! Okay. And then they can. Now she escaped. Way to go, Control! I knew you could do it. Thanks. Huh? <laughs> okay. Don't ask me how I'm doing. You're still up to five. Five. I'm looking. I'm watching. Tony's with. Very big. Very big. Tony. Tony's here. This is all insane. I tried to warn you. What are you talking about? Actually, I tried to save him from the odds. Hey man, we saved her from the arm. Tony, okay? I don't understand. Tony, this is crazy. shut the fuck up. I need you to back off, Tony. Tony, you don't back off. I'm gonna push the button. I'm gonna push the button, Tony. I am gonna mess with you, fucker. Hint, guys. One of the achievements is to let her get captured there. Yeah. So we have to actually do that at some point. I know, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. <laughs> well, you know, you just let her go. <laughs> get attacked. 
Alright. Here. And they shoot those. Okay, I'm only four We're down. Still at four down. Yep. I'm doing really good, guys. Where are the girls? Let's look upstairs. Oh, you're Hi, Sarah. Back. You're fucking Sarah, creeper. what is going on? The Augs are here. Oh, we suspected as much when they didn't show up for the delivery. They set us up. Oh, Victor, oh the they're Augs just hungry. Where are oh, Jeff and Tony? They couldn't they're wait downstairs anymore. in the Get control it. room. Gotcha. Someone else has taken control no, of the cameras and the traps. Yeah, I know, it freaked me out. Who's that? Fuck off, Mike. It's nobody. Here. No, it's Scat. Yeah, it's Scat guy. Yeah, it's a Scat guy. But it's not one Are of the you? Structures. We're Scat. Special control attack team. You've oh, got okay. Some explaining <laughs> now we know what Scat that actually means. Then, we'll stop just calling you Scat, please. And get comfortable. Oh, um, this one. Wait, no, that's a Scat member. Nothing on the roof. I don't know how, how did I get some? Who did I miss? You right, it was somewhere. What's happening here? Here. Yep. Yep. Well, class like you missed it, but I know a number of kids have been disappearing. So you got a possible fire. There he is. He's coming to the kitchen. Unfortunately, we can't listen to exactly what they're talking about in there. No, that's why I'm gonna win the game. It's actually her idea. Charity, of course. These guys, these guys, these guys. You always want those. Kids. Hello, Das. <laughs> what do you say? I don't like this dude, man. You what, see, Lieutenant. Uh, we bedroom, were bedroom just lit up. Two Are they, more. Are they the bed again? <laughs> Two more mm -hmm. together. Yeah, yep. Still at four. We're at 90. Just enough blood to survive. Mm -hmm. We're doing good. We, we might up. make it. No, this room. Come on. Yeah. Kid curse. Wondering about looking for blood. Hoping I know 96 is where we start vampire. worrying about zombies. Is it yeah. Vampires. You gotta be jabbing. We are not jabbing. You freaks and drag them downtown. Hold it. I don't think you understand, Mr. Martin, but you're in serious trouble here. <laughs> I mean, they're vampires, so they're probably not I'm afraid it is you. Jeffrey, are you all right? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. What's going on? Yep. Maybe. What's going on? Of course, we can't find out what's going on. Is it you? Okay. They're fighting. He throws him out the window. Right? That was impressive. Why can you shoot them? We went for you can't walk. Mm. See, this is where I start panicking. I'm like, I can help, but that's for any trap. Yeah, don't. Yeah. That's for any trap. You fuckers. Oh, you. Now you. I think you take both of them out, unfortunately. But. Well, I'm not disqualified so far. <laughs> Don't worry about them. Now, let's go and get yeah. that phony. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. You're trying, you gotta help me! I'm trying, Kelly, I'm trying! I missed it. I missed the roof! There's... Can I get him? Oh, Victor. After you... Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Ah! Okay. Um, 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 that moment, oh, that moment, gotta help me, please, trying, uh, no shit, why would I use the trap, <laughs> oh, <laughs> what was that trap, but it was going to be a surprise, <laughs> <laughs> so you need to know, Good to know. Okay. Okay. Bathroom. Bathroom. Come on, you guys, you gotta help me. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> We're trying. We're trying. We're trying, Kelly. We are trying. I'm about to break this damn thing. Yes, the wall <laughs> trap. Bah! Yeah. <laughs> All right. And she's like, you're the only one that can save me. Yes. You're all mine now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Trap. 
As I stated in the very first video, you get trapped in watching what's happening, and that's where they get you because you're going to lose track, and that's when you're going to start failing. The events are fictitious, and I'm so <laughs> dead, undead, as pure as I like that touch. That's in memory thing. of them. So it is. We have to check that. Did they know Plato and them die? Have they died? Well, that's what actually I was concerned watching the Because it one just said, dies. in memory of, there was a whole series of them. We now have access to the theater so in the basement. so close, guys. We're so close. But I no, left. Yep. We will, we will, the stream will show off all those clips. Uh, after, at the beginning of the stream, we'll show off, we'll talk. Yeah, we'll talk a little bit, then introduce... Sure. The theater to see yeah. all of the videos, I guess, and then, in an attempt to do perfect the perfect run. run, if possible. Which means that as soon as I fuck enough. up, as yeah, soon as stop. I fuck up, I have to stop. You yep. not don't even bother trying again, unless we want to see about unlocking some of those scenes. That's true. We we have unless they are shown in the theater. If we see those scenes in the theater, right, it's gonna sh we're gonna see them anyway. So, but we'll we'll definitely. We, I want to do a stream of this. Fun. Yep. We almost had perfect. I am kind of curious because that the interview with the one guy was just the one guy. Yeah, well, he was the main. Focus, he was the main really. focus, so. but you would think they would still check with the others. Yeah, so that might be why there was a memory of that. There was just that's so possible. Many... That is highly possible because you didn't see any newer takes of a lot of the characters mm -hmm. except yeah. for in the original video. So that right. that is in possible. the original interview of hey, this blew up. What's happened? So we'll probably uh, visit that in the beginning of the stream, too, after we've discovered some of that. Yeah, we'll look into it a bit. See what Final happens. Sunday of October. Yep. Uh, I don't remember the exact day, but 
uh, you may actually get two Night Trap episodes in a row to be able to do that. So We had so much fun with it, I couldn't help myself, <laughs> as you can tell. We wanted to get both of those videos done and get as far in the game as possible. Obviously, we got to the end. So now it took 16 Congratulations. minutes. Congratulations. That know. was... A, yeah, that was a lot of work, that, and, and that I remember practice. that long ago. It was a lot of work to get even to the end, much yeah. less getting the perfect run. So I never even attempted I'm the perfect run. I'm surprised, considering I started with two down, I'm surprised I only lost three more. Yep, yep. That was impressive, which was almost entirely they were all the, the roof. Yeah. <laughs> so I would be able to see the rest that of That one's the hard one to catch because it's so dark. Mm -hmm. And even when it does make the little change. And you got to think, before, you didn't have any of those little extra scenes to kind of give you a heads yeah, up you that something was getting ready to happen. You had to basically go by memory and start remembering all of these different locations. And like I said, I never had the patience to do through the through it perfectly. So. Admittedly, I will, I will admit, guys, I looked up. <laughs> when the codes changed. Yeah. I needed to know because that was the only way I could memorize because otherwise I wouldn't catch it on the screen because I'm watching for everything else and I stopped watching what they were doing. And we did notice that there's the the dot that blinks when you miss something. When it's a yellow dot, you missed one of the codes. So then you have to try to guess what the code is. So right. You got to deal with it. So Luckily, I figured it out. And after that second quick change, it doesn't change ever again. I That's... remember you missed it that one time and got it on the second capture yeah. somehow. So. Well, that was quickly flipping through. I'm like, click, 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 click. No? Okay, keep going. There you go, guys. Here's Night Trap. It's been completed. Yeah. Um, like, subscribe, so, comment. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you. We'll see you on the stream. The stream. All right, take it easy.